long as the system specifications are met, Sarah is simple to download to any device. The following are the system requirements of Sarah. Operating System, Windows 7 up to the latest version. RAM, 2GB up. HDD slash SSD, at least 5GB free space, .NET Framework 4. To start the installation process, launch the Sarah installer, right-click, and select Open. A dialog window from Microsoft Defender will appear to warn you of a potential threat. But have no fear, everyone can use the software safely. Choosing Run Anyway will begin the installation procedure. Click the Next button when the SARF 3 install program window appears. Select the version of the operating system that you are using. Once you have accepted the software user license agreement, click Next. After the file location has been chosen, click Next. Choose Yes to specify where your files are located, then click Start. Wait for the progress bar to finish then click Exit to complete the installation. Another dialog box that asks you to open the Firebird application, Sarah's Database Manager, will appear. Press Yes to start Firebird. Wait for the setup to finish. Press any key to complete the configuration. Finally, the installation has been completed. After the installation, you must restart your device first before opening the Sarah application. After restarting, launch Sarah, then select System Login. Use the default account by entering user in the username field and password in the password field. This generic account is meant to let you build your own user account when you install a new system. Select Add System User, complete all fields, and save. After creating the account, choose it and select the access level. Check the module that will be assigned to the user. Unchecked modules are not accessible to the user. So, make sure that in your administrator account, every module is checked. Try logging into the account you just made. Before doing anything else, go to the general settings and modify your Sara settings after you have successfully logged into your Sara account. The station's name, code, and address must be stated. Include your station's logo as well, since it will show up on all forms which are generated. setup are finished, let's have a brief look at Sarah's system graphical user interface, which will certainly help you with operating the system to the fullest extent possible. Add new record. Update existing record. Delete existing record. Upload attendance file. The data is present in lookup window, and it means the selected record is final and you can proceed. The data is present present in lookup window, and it means you want to cancel the selection. Escape keyboard key is a shortcut when you want to cancel a process or close a window. Enter keyboard key is a shortcut when you want to save, proceed, or OK. 
Tab Keyboard Key is a shortcut when you want to proceed to other fields of system objects. Please click the record to update it before selecting Edit or Delete. Search Box provides an easy way to search through properties and columns. Auto Filter Row allows data to be filtered on the fly by typing text into that row. When an end user types text into this filtering row, a filter condition is automatically created based on the entered value and then applied to the focused column. The filtering row is displayed at the top of the grid view. The Filters tab gives users a wider pool of filtering options. For example, when filtering by dates, you can only show those records that correspond to the previous week. The content of a filtering drop-down menu depends on the type of data displayed by the related grid column. This demonstration will show you how to search for data in three different methods. First is using the search bar. With the search bar, you may easily find the data you need by typing it in. The search filter will display results for each word requested when more than one word is typed. To carry out a specific search on data which contains multiple words, enclose the words in quotation marks. Second is the auto filter row. To show the auto filter row, right click on the mouse. You can enter in the data you wish to be shown or filtered in the filtering row which is displayed at the top of the grid view. Third is the filter. To see the filter icon, move your cursor above the grid views header. To access the filtering options, click the icon. You can either select a value or navigate to the text filters to choose a more accurate method of filtering the provided data. The Sarah application has been successfully installed and configured. The upcoming videos will discuss more about the system's modules. If you haven't installed Sarah on your school's device, try installing now to get rid of the manual attendance monitoring.